In this question, we're given the diagram of a floor plan with dimensions represented in terms of x. And we're asked to determine the uh, total area of the floor. First, in unsimplified form, in terms of x, and then in simplified form. Well, let's take a look at the floor plan here to see what we can do. We could, for example, draw a line here to cut this floor plan into two parts. Part one would be this rectangle here, and part two would be the smaller rectangle here. So the large rectangle would have area one, and the small rectangle would have area two. So the total area would be area one plus area two. And since area is equal to length times width, area one would be seven x, which is the length, times three x minus three, which is the width. So we could write this as seven x times three x minus three. And area two would have a length of five x and a width of x. So the area would be 5x times x. And we're adding these two areas together to get the total area. So this is one unsimplified expression for the total area of this floor plan. Now there are other ways to manipulate this floor plan. For example, I could have extended this line here and this line here to make a large rectangle and we can call this large rectangle here area one and this small rectangle here would be area two in this case the total area would be represented by area one minus area two and again area is length times width so the area for the large rectangle would be seven x times four x minus three so we'd write that as 7x times 4x minus 3. In this case, we're doing width times length instead of length times width, but it doesn't matter. And the area 2 would be 2x times x. So we'd write it as 2x times x. And of course, in this case, we're subtracting these two areas. There are other ways that we could have solved this problem, too. Perhaps we could have drawn the line through here and separated the floor plan into this rectangle and this rectangle and added those two together. But let's look at these two expressions and see if we simplify them, if they give us the same answer. All right, so let's move this up a little bit to give us some more room to simplify these. So let me write 7x times 3x minus 3 plus 5x times x. And in this case, we're going to distribute across the brackets, multiply these two values, and see what we get. So 7x times 3x is 21x squared. 7x times minus 3 is negative 21x. And 5x times x is positive 5x squared. Now let's collect like terms. We can see that 21x squared and 5x squared are like terms. So that would give us 26x squared minus 21x. And that's as far as we can go because these are now two unlike terms. So that's our simplified expression for the total area. So let's see what happens when we try the second expression. So I'll write it out. 7x times 4x minus 3 minus 2x times x. And again, we'll distribute across the brackets. And when we do that, 7x times 4x is 28x squared. 7x times minus 3 is minus 21x. Negative 2x times x is minus 2x squared. Collecting like terms, because we have a 28x squared and a minus 2x squared. So that gives us 26x squared minus 21x. You can see that we have the same answer. 
And the last thing we should do is incorporate the units, which are meters squared. So in this case, we would put meters squared as the units here, and meters squared for the units here. And there you go.